This is the broadcast center here from the IEC general meeting 2016 in Frankfurt. My name is Coach Lüttelburg from the DKE in Frankfurt as well. And uh, today during this interview we are talking about uh, digital transformation and in particular uh, digital leadership. Uh, as you know during the reinvention lab the topic of digital transformation has been discussed quite often. It's an absolutely top topic if I may say so. And uh, of course during this interview I'm not alone. We have a uh, well-known expert on digital transformation and uh, author of several books here with us. So welcome. Dr. Hi. Wilms <laughs> Buse, you are a uh, CEO and founder of W, it's a company located in Hamburg. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should start with a short introduction uh, of you and of your company. So what are you doing at W? Sure. Um, our job is to help larger organizations in the transformation into the digital age. Uh, and thereby we focus a lot uh, on the topics of the mindset and uh, also on the leadership topics. So how do I lead an organization into the digital age? Mm. Uh, digital transformation, this is the top buzzword, yeah, d discussed very mm -hmm. often right here on the meeting as well. Uh, could you try to characterize digital transformation very briefly for us? What are the main aspects? Mm -hmm. I think there, there are some, some risks of misunderstanding. And when we talk about digital transformation, we don't mean the usage of computers uh, to, orchestra to orchestrate certain processes, uh, but we talk about how to transform an organization into the digital age. Uh, so there are forces from the market side, um, uh, the so-called VUCA world, uh, which means there is more volatility, more uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity out there. And the question is, how do organizations actually cater with these market developments? Mm. Okay, so uh, this has, has to do a lot with, uh, I guess, with leadership, mm -hmm. with organizational changes and other changes. So uh, let's go to the leadership. What um, is important with the digital leadership or what how is it characterized? What does it mean? Mm -hmm. um, I just wrote a book uh, in which I describe that okay. uh, it's called Management by Internet. And uh, if you look at how the Internet actually works, uh, there are a couple of characteristics which can very well transform to leadership. Um, I call this NOPA, networking, openness, participation, and agility. So these are sort of the four pillars digital leaders need to adopt in order to steer their organizations into the digital future. Mm. So as an example, um, I think that's quite relevant for, for uh, the organization here, uh, is openness. So it makes a huge difference if I develop a standard uh, just with sort of the participating companies or if I open up very early in the process mm -hmm. to gather feedback from the outside world and take this feedback and uh, incorporate that into my standards work. And uh, this is uh, something that um, many companies now work with in order to make sure that what they build is actually fit and adapted uh, to the needs outside of the organization towards their customers. Mm. What does that mean in practice? I mean, given the standardization organization, for example, mm. what has to be changed? The organizational structure or is it more a way or a change, a necessary change in terms of ways of communication, processes of communication, or maybe there is something else? Mm -hmm. I think uh, there are a number of changes. Uh, they have to do with the organization itself. Uh, they have to do with uh, how do I actually lead the organization. Um, they involve the processes and the relationships in terms of communication. So in terms of opening up, for example, um, using um, the organization's platform in order to start discussions, but also go where the experts are. Uh, so that might be a LinkedIn group uh, in order mm -hmm. to have discussions there and make sure that uh, uh, by a good moderation, these results are brought back into the standards work. Mm -hmm. This might also be uh, in speeding up the processes substantially mm -hmm. uh, so that the development of certain standards uh, is not counted in months or years, but rather in days because we see that in a number of industries that the pressure of uh, bringing products faster to market uh, is very high. Mm. That means you think, uh, or your opinion is that uh, speeding up the, the, the making standards is an important issue. 
Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and I heard yesterday uh, someone saying it's important that we are a fast follower. And I would actually disagree. Uh, I think setting standards uh, in a digital world, it's important to wisely select where you want to be a follower and where mm. do you have to be a leader. And I'm very sure that there are some areas in which it's quite beneficial to the organization to be a leader. Okay, but on the other hand side, I, I guess, I mean, or I think uh, IEC is based on a consensus principle. Standards mm -hmm. are being made based on consensus. Mm -hmm. Does that fit to this speeding up everything? Is that possible, basically, um, when you want to achieve consensus? Sure. Uh, I think the ways of digital communication and collaboration using digital methods can speed up processes substantially because you don't have to rely on personal meetings all the time. Um, you might have a kickoff meeting uh, in a personal way uh, and then finalizing things uh, by mm -hmm. just communicating and collaborating digital. Mm -hmm. And I think the next generation uh, is actually eager to work this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, one important, one of the most important issues, I guess, is collaboration, just to, mm -hmm. to how, uh, the question is how to make it better, more intense, I mean, given an international scale, because IEC mm. is making standards on an international level. Mm -hmm. So what would you recommend uh, to, to improve uh, ways of collaboration? Um, I would look at platforms that are available okay. and experiment, uh, start pilots. I think no one can foresee how the developments are over the next 10 years. So I think it's important to open up as an organization uh, for new ways of collaboration. I would listen to the young generation. And uh, when I say young generation, I don't mean those in the 40s. I actually mean those in the 20s and 30s um, to understand how they want to collaborate and build the organization of the future. Mm. I would probably not only rely on experts within the organization, but also include experts outside of the organization and uh, probably work with different ways of uh, contribution. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's very hard to just within the interview uh, come up sure. with ideas, yeah. but I would test certain things, uh, test that out and uh, uh, start pilots in, in different directions. Mm -hmm. and increase the speed of learning and change. That's something that is a good idea for every organization mm. to increase the speed of learning. Okay, Okay. thank you very much. Uh, I think we can learn a lot uh, in terms of uh, how to digitali digitalize uh, the way of standardization uh, in terms of collaboration, in terms of uh, leadership structures, in terms of organizations. Uh, so there will be a very exciting future. So thank you very much. Thank you. IEC General Meeting 2016 Connecting Communities Reinvent Standardization